Okay, so we're going to start looking at our Canvas website to find out where is the Bureau of Economic Analysis and Labor Statistics link and how to use that to find GDP and CPA data for our assignment number three. Let's go to module section and you would see Bureau of Labor Statistics to find Consumer Price Index CPI or you can click Bureau of Economic Analysis to find GDP gross domestic product if I click that you would get to Bureau of Economic Analysis and that page would look like this and you would pick gross domestic product under the gross domestic product if you click current dollars and real GDP in uh, Excel format and if you said OK it would basically would OK that I already have opened that so your file should look something like this it would say GDP in billions of current dollars that means in the year in which they measured it and then they convert them all into 2009 dollars they call it GDP in billions of chained 2009 dollars and don't worry about these these are quarterly numbers these are the annual numbers we want to use the annual numbers and one of the question asked was to verify what our textbook said textbook said our nominal versus real GDP uh, information it said in 1998 it used to be nine trillion dollars in 2008 it became eleven trillion dollars in real dollars using 2000 year price structure or called 2000 year dollars and when they use that nine trillion going to eleven point six trillion dollar became twenty nine percent increase that is in real GDP so your question is to verify that using the downloaded table but this is not in two thousand dollars this is in two thousand nine dollars let's just verify that so what I do basically is to say okay going from 1998 to 2008 uh, it went from 11 trillion 11 and a half to 14.8 trillion and that calculation tells me it's about 29 percent increase 1.28 if I look at the PowerPoint slide, it's at about 29%. So it doesn't matter which year dollar basis we use. In real dollars, it did increase 29%. Now that I can trust this table, I'm going to use this number from 2008 real dollars in 2009 dollars, but not current dollars. And then I'm going to use 2008 to 2013. It went from 14.8 to 15.7. So that's about a 6% growth. That's what you should be showing me with your printouts and calculations. Okay, now let's go back to the next assignment we had, which was to look at the consumer price index. Okay, for consumer price index, let's go back to our Canvas site. Um, let's cancel all this out. Go back to your module and you click your Bureau of Labor Statistics for Consumer Price Index that would open up this particular web page and you can go down to the bottom of the page under tools you can select databases and tables and then it shows a whole bunch of them we're just interested in inflation and prices and we want to use all urban consumer consumption for our basis and we're going to use the topics and then we're going to use all items using 1982 to 84 as the index 100. Whatever spent on that dollar, the prices are not spent. The prices for those basket of goods, we're going to call it 100. If that is 100, what the rest of the years look like. That is what this consumer price index is all about. So we're going to retrieve the data. And you would see on a monthly basis, and then there's an annual number of the index. For 2004 is 188. We could also change it by going to more options, selecting the data from 1980 onwards. We could also say, I just want an annual basis data. I want a 12 month percent change perhaps if I wanted it, and I can retrieve the data. 
it would basically give me the stable, which is what you're supposed to get. And you can verify in 2009, the number is 214, the index is 214, meaning 1980 to 82, if it was 100, it the inflation has grown to 214 by 2009. The next one we are calculating is how far did it go from 2009 to 2013. Calculation would be 232.9 divided by 214.5. That would be the inflation growth. Okay. So you should be able to do all of that by watching this video. And if I go back to our textbook example on consumer price index. Here's the consumer price index exhibit from textbook. It said in June 2009 all items prices were indexed as 214. So now if I go back to what, what I saw in 2009, well it's exactly 214. So I verified it. That is what I'm asking you to do.